All right. Now, one of the new terms in the world of technology is cloud computing. What does it mean? Is it a fancy way to describe software as a rentable, leasable service? Well, let's find out. One of the players in this field is NetSuite, and we have Zachary Nelson. He is the CEO with us. Zach, welcome to the program. Well, Good to you. have you back. Thank you for having me. Um, what is this whole idea of cloud computing? I mean, the cloud is kind of something that sits out away from the actual, let's say, office or the business that's doing the work? Yeah, I think the cloud computing has become a metaphor for how businesses and consumers are accessing more and more services, really using the Internet to tap into a whole host of, of business applications, things like NetSuite, but also personal applications, things like Twitter and Facebook. And to me, it really is is the combination of the, re the telephony revolution that's been going on for the last 50 years and the computer revolution revolution that's been going on for the last 50 years, finally converging into this wide area network that you can access great deals of information across with any device, a phone, a computer, uh, uh, an iPod, netbooks, a whole host of devices. All right. Now, how does that fit into what NetSuite's doing? Because you focus on the business community, and the idea is that businesses don't have to then go out and, what, hire like a whole IT department in order to run their operations. They go to a company like a, like a NetSuite, for example. Yeah, cloud computing has a whole, a, whole sort, a whole bunch of implications for business. One is this ability literally to plug into the, the network, the Internet, and access rich business applications like NetSuite, run their business, run their accounting, run their sales. Uh, it, the cloud is also a metaphor for them in terms of how they want to reach their own customers, how they want their customers to be able to plug into the network and reach them and do transactions with them. So it has implications well beyond just the services we're delivering. It really is more about businesses moving the center of their operation from a building to the network. And NetSuite as an application really helps facilitate that for them. So can you see a time when, for example, a customer would actually be able to fill out the invoice themselves, actually do most of the, the work that a company would do in that, in that sort of normal relationship, but in a sense the customer now does that all, and then that translates, I guess, into lower prices. Yeah, well, you're, yeah exactly. So you're certainly see, seeing that with NetSuite's customers. A lot of our customers' customers do log in to NetSuite, in effect, and say, here's what I bought before. I want to buy it again. Click a button. Send myself an invoice. So self-service. Uh, sorts of applications that you see a lot in the consumer segment. We go out and do self-service all the time on Amazon and eBay. Now you're seeing it in the business world as well. All right, talk about some of the cu customers and tell me because they just released earnings. I know that they were they exceeded the well, they hit the street. I think you were a penny. You produced profit of a one penny for EPS. Yep. Um, and what about 41, 41 and a half? 41.7 million, million on the in, top line. On the top line, and you're seeing some changes in customer behavior. They're actually starting to spend money again. Yeah, there, there are two interesting things going on. One is our existing installed base of customers, and what we're seeing there is actually uh, boating pretty well, I think, for the for the economic situation. You saw downside people renewing for less actually decrease. So, so you saw a reduce in the amount of churn going on in the customer base. At the same time, we saw upsell increase 30%. So that appears to be that they're adding more users, they're growing their business. Um, on the new business side, we also saw our customer new customer count go up to about 280 from 270. So you're seeing new businesses also begin to increase their purchase cycle around things like cloud computing. Now, you, you compare that to traditional applications, the SAPs. And well, the that's what I was going to ask you about. This yeah. is what they call legacy applications, yeah. right? I mean, are you seeing a big shift away from that? Well, you're certainly seeing it in what they're purchasing. So where NetSuite grew its bookings year over year, guys like SAP, Epicor, Dell Tech, the sort of classic on-premise software vendors, they all new license sales declined by 30%. So you really are seeing the sea change in the way customers want to run their business from running my business inside my firewall to using a solution like NetSuite, which allows me to leverage the Internet really to run my business and to reach my customers. Is it two things, too, though? Is it, is it just not just the technology? Because that's one thing. You talk about the whole issue of cloud computing, but when you look at the actual cost in paying really only for what you use, is that also just a, a well-defined trend now? We should just accept that that's the way businesses look at IT? Well, you've certainly seen a sea, ch sea change. In Ten years ago, people thought software service was a novelty. Now they see software as a service as the future of applications and buying it in terms of how you use it is certainly a component of that. But I think the other, the other elements going on here, in addition to cost reduction, is companies realize they have to put the Internet at the center of their business. And you can't put the Internet at the center of your business if you're running your business on applications that were designed before the World Wide Web existed. So they look at the infrastructure composed of SAP and Epicor, and they're saying, how can we possibly be an Internet business when our own business isn't Internet-based? And that's driving a lot of business to things like NetSuite and other cloud computing vendors. Does it just mean also that the maintenance costs are much lower? Well, there is no 
no, there effectively there is no maintenance cost in an application like NetSuite. They just pay us the same amount every year um, as they as they consume the service. Anything overseas? You seeing any any growth there? Well, Asia has been very strong and and probably didn't dip as much as the rest of the world did when in the in the Great Recession or the Little Depression, whichever you want to call it. Um, so Asia has always been strong. The UK, we see that coming back. <clears throat> excuse me a bit. And North America is doing well as well. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Zach Nelson, coming in, the CEO of NetSuite, sharing some insight into the world of cloud computing and some trends in business customers. Thank you very thank much. Thank you.